Melancholy by Karina Cabrera. This is the first draft for Project One. The general idea was that Melancholy was going to be an umbrella that was going to guide any research I was going to do this year. And more importantly, I want to experiment with different techniques. When I think about themes that bring up melancholy, I saw sea, childhood, abandoned places, grandmother, and dream places could bring the most out of this feeling. So I want to research about them to create different projects. With these things in mind, I want to use drawing and painting and 3D techniques to explore them deeply to create new pieces of artwork and illustration. I dedicate a particular section to techniques because this year I want to research and explore different type of uh, alternative way of drawing and painting. I am particularly interested in paper cutting and dioramas. I, I think these techniques can uh, work well together, uh, paper cutting and diorama, paper dioramas can work well together. Um, cyanotype is something that I always wanted to explore, so I wanted to give it a try. Have a very melancholic feeling, like old pictures and ceramic and clay, perhaps doing some of um, earth clay rather than cer proper ceramics, but explore these ideas in order to create a more, a richer outcome. Obviously, the research will have a primary research, a secondary research, but I also wanted to add different courses in the particular mediums or techniques that I want to explore. Thinking in more detail about the initial themes, I started with the C. I think this will be easier to do primary research, also use uh, vintage pictures about people going to the sea, and I think it will also be interesting to work a little bit with cyanotype on paper, perhaps using textiles, but all the outcomes are no fixed. They are just initial ideas, but I think I will start with the C as a main theme. Well, the second in initial idea was childhood. I think I put it in the second place because it's very easy to join childhood and C because many of us have uh, memories of going with our families to on holidays near to the sea, um, playing with uh, uh, sand, playing with balls. I think this is quite interesting to explore if you are talking about melancholy. Um, I think in, also the outcome for this might be a diorama or ceramic pieces. I haven't elaborated uh, with that level of detail, but I think that will also be very fluid and go very well together. This is a more personal theme. Um, I grew up with my grandmother, so it links well with childhood, but this is a more personal project. I would like to explore this idea of a, a very close relative that is not with us any longer. I was thinking about also create a, a cyanotype or a paper diorama, have uh, pictures and some illustrations about our grandma. Uh, but I think they will develop from childhood. I hope so, at least. Abandoned places and dream places are independent for the uh, other themes. And I think these two are quite linked. Abandoned places to me are those places where they were life, they were amazing in the past, but decay really quickly and nature took over. Um, I don't know, I'm not sure how I'm going to research this, but I have been thinking about how nature decays, how buildings decay, how things change after a natural disaster and places become abandoned and nature reclaim them. And there is also this perception of the what happened in the past. And I think is where the dream places are interlinked with the abandoned places. All those places we fantasize about, all those places they are no longer with us, or we perceive them to be better than what they were. Um, one idea that comes to mind is Greek bathrooms. 
uh, bad houses, sorry. That was something that it triggers my um, feeling of the past, but they are no longer with us anymore. The outcome for dream places and abandoned places um, is very open, but I think a diorama, um, a more three-dimensional one, no paper one, should be fantastic. And I think I will perhaps use graphite to work on dream places or places that come from my dreams. So we have all the exercises that it needed to be done for a project one. When I started this course, I understood that each project needed an outcome. So I create a, a plan where each two projects were connected in the research, but the outcome was going to be different in order to like use this research, like enrich one research with another one in order to create a more deep and meaningful project. Uh, but unfortunately, this is one of the things I needed to change for the final project.